In this video, we'll look at the molecular geometry for BrCl5, bromine pentachloride. So as we look at the Lewis structure here, we note that the central bromine atom, that has 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 valence electrons. But that's okay because bromine, it can have an expanded octet. So the central bromine here has five chlorine atoms and one lone pair of electrons around it. So it has six different groups around it. If we look at this table here, we'll see that if we have six groups and one of them is a lone pair, that we end up with the molecular geometry of square pyramidal. And if we looked at the AXN notation, A, that'd be the central atom, X, that's the atoms around, the chlorines, we have five of those, and N, the number of lone pairs, just one, we'd have AX5N. If you look that up, that would be square pyramidal. Let's take a look at a simulation of this so we really can understand what's going on. So this would be our central bromine atom. Then we're going to attach five chlorine atoms. One, two, you see they're spreading out. Three, four, five. So we have this structure here. But we need to remember that lone pair. So let's put that lone pair in here. And now we have our molecular geometry, which is that square pyramidal that we talked about earlier. We could also look at the electron geometry, where we take into account this pair of electrons here as well. That would be octahedral. So we have a molecular geometry of square pyramidal, just like we found on our table, an electron geometry, though, of octahedral. We can also see that the bond angles, they're going to be 90 degrees. So for our BRCL5, we have square pyramidal. That's because we have six different groups here attached to the central atom, and one of those groups is a lone pair. Note that those ideal bond angles that we saw in the simulation of 90 degrees, those would be a little bit less because of the fluorine atoms. They're very electronegative. This is Dr. B with the molecular geometry for BRCL5 and the electron geometry and bond angles. Thanks for watching.